Hello everybody, we are back again. My name is Mikael Lisaakko, I am from Sky Blue Disc Golf and I'm here with Jenny Eskelinen. Hello everybody. We are watching the back nine of FBO final round of Tune 2019 at Sippe. And first on the tee we have Heidi Line from Finland who nails that middle gap, which in my opinion doesn't exist. And second on the tee we have Kristin Tatar from Estonia. It's a pretty good shot. Yeah, that was really good. And third we have you, Jenny Eskelinen. Yeah. So which line were you going for? Uh, Heiser line. <laughs> it's kind of a miss and you're gonna have a pretty tough up shot. Fourth on the tee, Lykke Sandvik from Norway. She takes the Anheuser line. Oh, nasty tree hit. That was looking such, like a, such a great throw. So yeah. we, what we have after the front nine is basically a tight ball game. Very exciting finish, and that was a pretty good upshot. Yeah, that wasn't easy at all. So Lukka was stuck behind a bush and she was just forced to lay that one up. Haley seems to be going for this. Okay, easy three. I think this is one of the easier ones on the course, even though it is vastly uphill. Oh, Kristen no was so close, way. and this is the the danger on this green that you may take a serious roll away. I mean at least this year the basket is not elevated like it was last year and that was that was not fun. Was it elevated? Yeah it was actually. Oh I don't remember that. Another very good run by Kristen. Yeah I remember these these things because but putting is hard. Very <laughs> hard. So you're going for par here. Yeah. Well done, center hit, great job. And after a a not very successful drive off the tee, par is well done. Yeah, I was really satisfied. And Luke also takes a par. And Kristen had a bit of a tough walk here with the roll away and she's forced to settle with a bogey. And suddenly we are again tight for the net. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's very cool. I'm not sure how much the competitors were following the scores, but it, it, from the viewer's perspective, it is very interesting. This is a, a unique hole, I should say. There is a mandatory uh, to be played from the left side, and the basket is on top of a huge boulder. Oh, my God. Oh. That forehand <laughs> is very good. This is really hard hole. I would say uh, forehand is his only option. <laughs> yeah, Bro. I I'd agree with that assessment. But even with the forehand, it's it's terribly hard to park that hole. As you will see in a minute, the basket is on, on top of a huge boulder. Another very good looking forehand, which finds a branch and comes down. And then from Kristen's position and Lukke as well, you're gonna want to put this one very close, but it's very difficult. Really nice approach, Lukke. Kristen's going with a harp, and she's very good with this shot. That looks very good, but it's still a little bit long behind the basket. It's inside the circle one, but I think it's like nine meters from the basket. Oh. Hey, did, did a good job, but she has a terrible roll away. And that's exactly what happens on this hole. You really don't want to pot at that basket from any directions. It's... But, oh my goodness. Again. Oh my goodness. After bl playing such a strong front nine, Heidi has huge trouble here. So you need to be very, very careful with your up shot. To land it flat on top of that rock to minimize the risk of rollaways. She takes her time, good focus. 
and a good execution. So you are still <coughs> closer to the basket and Kristen lays it up for a bogey. Yeah, I was really uh, a little surprised that uh, Kristen lays, lays it up. Yeah, but if you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. And this is your look for birdie. Yeah. Yes! Fantastic. Woo! That is such a bonus birdie, in my opinion. Yes, this was a real bonus birdie. Amazing job. And that puts you in position of the sole lead at this point. Yeah. Katie's falling back a little bit. As well as Christine does. And that was a two-stroke swing between you and Kristen. Yeah. Uh, we are heading to hole 12, which is 140 meters, par 4. Pretty good hole. There is a huge drop-off on the left, where nobody wants to go. That shot looked very good. Yeah, uh, right side is better than uh, the woods on the left. Yeah. Luca seemed to be heading to the, to the bad side. Um, I bet this is the same pro that Kristen drew, uh, Heiser flips. Yeah. That is fading a little bit, but it should be doable. Yeah, it was long, so it's not a disaster. Yeah. It is going with the mid range, it looks like. Oh. Beautiful flight, but then a branch that takes to the left side. This is a tough shot. That is fading a little bit too much to the right. I don't think she's going to have a very good opportunity to get to the basket from there. Is this a... that's a driver, that's a TD. That's a driver and this was my attack shot. <laughs> oh, that. oh, a little bit of a tree hit, but yeah. still I think you're gonna have a pretty easy layup for a four. Yeah. I don't think we've seen very many forehands from Haiti. But that was, that was pretty good. Maybe possibly some cut roll. Kristen is in surprisingly difficult position but now she's in the middle of the fairway so she's also playing for a four now Luke has some kind of a forehand oh. line but that is still not out of the rough and this is basically what we saw on every round whenever somebody ends up a little bit off the fairway they're gonna have some scramble to do yeah. that was a good shot yeah, really good approach and also there is a drop off behind the basket it's not uh, maybe like six meters yeah something like that that is fading that's gonna be on the green yeah cutting. six meters away let's see what kind of a line Luke takes that is very good. It should be pretty close. Yeah, five meters. <laughs> okay, and what do we got here? Do we have a line? It's not that bad. Okay. It looks <laughs> maybe thirty meters, and you're up there. Yeah. Maybe five meters. Six meters from the yeah. basket. Yeah. Uh, still a drop off behind it, so you don't want to have a very long putt. Oh my! Well, that's going to be a bogey. Bogey, yes. So, Kristen has an opportunity to take a stroke, right? Yeah. Well done. Such an exciting finish for this fantastic tournament. Strokes going every which way. And Luke takes a bogey. And I'm not exactly sure, but I think Kate is going for bogey here as well. Uh, par. Okay. Well done. <laughs> so hole number 12 was actually the third hardest hole, averaging 5.2. So the lead card played it a little bit better. 
Hole 13 is going way downhill, and there is a hazard area right in front of the basket, Ooh. which Kristen avoids, and she nearly parks it, but it's a little bit behind of the basket. Uh, there was a strong headwind. What the girls are doing. Good. Did that fade back? I didn't see it come back. Yeah, it's on the fairway. Okay. What are you going with here? Uh, with the potter. <laughs> oh my, that is going way to the right. I wasn't expecting that. So the headwind got you. Yeah. Luke is going with an overstable disc. Very well done, but it, as it easily happens on this hole, that you, it's very easy to overshoot the basket. Oh, I thought you were going to go with a hyzer approach. So that's fairly close. And Heidi is running this. Oh well, it's gonna be an easy three. I wonder if that knee issue is... Well, I, I'm sure it doesn't make it easier to do those jump putts. Oh, oh. Luke, you got a good power on that yeah. one, just missing the line a little bit to the left. So Kristen has this for birdie two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good catch by the basket. Five meters for your car. Well done, dead center. And again, we are tied. <laughs> <laughs> Were you following those scores during the round? Uh, I wasn't. Yeah. Personally, I really think that one shouldn't until the very end. You should just basically stick to your own game plan, but... Well, I don't know. What do, what do I know, man? I'm just an amateur player. Hole 14 is 160 meters, par 4. Uh, first, the fairway curves to the left, and then we are going way uphill again. That was a fantastic shot by Kristen. I would say the, uh, the best um, game plan is to do the hyzer first, to get uh, to the left side of the uh, hole, the fairway. Yep. Because the next shot uh, will be easier. Yep. That's my opinion. <laughs> that looks pretty good, but I wonder if it's a little too short. Let's see. We will see shortly. Okay, it's a good line here. I think. That looks very good. I, I'd say that's basically the, the shot that I'm going for. Okay. This and she has a good position and she's going to that tighter gap. Now, like you were saying, if you play more to the left, you can take the, the left route, left which is which yeah. is a bigger opening on the this left. One. That was very good. Yeah. You're probably in the circle, but... I am. And Heidi is doing the same. Mid-range Anheuser, but this is fading out a little bit, but not too bad. I think she's putting. What is Kristen doing? She's taking the right gap with a forehand Anheuser. Oh, well, I mean, she's going to be able to pitch to the basket from there and take an easy four. I think. But she doesn't see the basket from there, so yeah. there's a bit of a challenge. Okay, what are we looking at here? Seems to me that Luke is trying to find a stance. That doesn't look very comfortable. No. Okay. She ended up in a in a worse uh, spot than I would have anticipated. <laughs> I thought she was going to have a pretty easy. So she's asking me to check the... Yeah, 
sure. But she can definitely not have the weight on her hand in the front, so she's going to have to maintain the balance. But she's probably outside the circle there, yeah, and she, she was wasn't. pitching it to the okay, basket. <laughs> 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 So Heidi is going for birdie three here, right? Yes. Oh, oh I thought that was in. Are you there? Okay. So it's me, right? Yeah. So Luke is up next, and this is for her car. Well done. I like the Lucas putting style. Yeah, she puts a lot of power and great spin on that. Yeah. So. And birdie three for yeah. Yenny. That was fantastic. That was exactly my game plan. Yeah, this is a this is a cool hole. You have like it's very uh, clearly two different part of the hole, first on that level ground, the hyzer shot, and then coming steeply uphill to this green. I think it's fantastic design. And hole 15, we are going back downhill. Huge downhill shot, 115 meters. What's your what's your disc selection here? Uh, Mid-range, MD3, and the shot was totally too high. Okay. Kristen hits a tree, but she might still be getting out to the open if she gets lucky there. That looks like a great line. A little high maybe, possibly. A little high and uh, way too powerful. So there is an OB lot. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, she ended up OB lot. So that's going to be a long pot for three there. Well, that looks like a mid-range as well, and that is working pretty well. Yeah, that was a good shot. Circle one, that was a great shot. I think this is such a fun hole, but only if you make it to the, to the open field. It is not fun to get stuck in those trees. But that was a phenomenal off shot by Kristen. I guess that was a, another harp forehand. This is probably outside of circle one, mm -hmm. and well, it's going to be four for Haiti. I decided to lay up. Yeah, that was a long one. Great yes. pot by Luke. Yeah, thirty-two. Really good birding. Yep. So Haiti is now falling a little bit behind the others by taking that bogey there, but she's still not out of it, definitely. Hole 16 is 110 meters, Obi on the right and also OB on the left, but that should not come to play. I guess we're gonna see four backhand hyzers here. Yeah. I think that's a little bit too high. A little bit, yes. So she's short but inbounds, but again that OB is very close to the basket, so it's gonna be a risky, risky choice to run that punt. And that's a little tight on the inside, that's gonna end up on the left. Yeah. So that's not really a position from where you could run that birdie. No, uh, I missed that drive. Yeah. This is also higher than I was expecting it. It's going to... Wow, that was long. Yeah. That is in circle one. That is circle one, round six meters from Fantastic the basket. Fantastic shot. She has yeah. so much power. That is a little bit to the right. 
and it clips the tree, but it's inbounds. Yeah. Actually, at this point, I check the scores. Okay. <laughs> because I missed the drive, and ah. Christine did it well, so I check that. Okay. I have one one shot lead. Lika is go going for this one, but Stays I don't in. know. Not sure if she was running it because that didn't really have a chance to go in. And you are laying this up. Yeah. Wise choice from that position. Now Kristen is going for the birdie and for tying the lead. Oh my god, she airballs that. And yeah. the and it went to the OB. OB. Well, the comebacker is short for sure, but what a turn of events there. Yeah. I really wasn't expecting her to miss that butt. Yeah, I bet she <laughs> wasn't expecting it as well. Wow. Okay, we yeah. are closing the end here. Two more holes to go. Hole 17 is a big one. Par 4, OB on the left side all the way, and a side slope from left to right, and a mandatory tree. This is looking very good. You're yeah. basically looking to crunch a big drive, getting as far down the fairway as possible while still staying in bounds. That is too much to the right. That will be a tough angle to go around the mandatory tree. Yeah, my game plan was to play to the left side of the yeah, hole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is a good pull. It should fade a little bit. Yeah, that was a long drive. Fantastic job, but she's also a little bit cut off. So that's going to be a forehand approach. I bet this is a defender from Kristen. It's going really well and fading to the left side. It's in a in a ditch, which is not OB, but it's gonna be a bit of a tricky stance, but she's gonna go with a forehand approach. That was a beautiful try. You barely go around the mandatory, but that was a good shot. You're in, in good position to basically lay up for your four. And Luke is going with a backhand. Anheuser. Yeah, it's up there, but that green is so scary to putt very far from. There is a huge drop off behind the basket. So everybody wants to get their approach very close. Yes. That oh, is a fantastic <laughs> shot by Haiti. I'm hoping she didn't take a bad skip from the rocks. Uh, this looks like a justice maybe? Fantastic approach, but a little bit short for Kristen. So you're looking to lay this up, right? Yeah, and I was scared, <laughs> to be bit, honest. A little bit windy, but yeah. you did a good job there. Yeah. That's, that's pretty close to the basket. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Three meters. You, you can't seriously run this. Yep, just a layup. I'm not sure what that means, but... Oh, so Haiti did take a skip and she went long of the basket, so she's putting uphill and looks like just a layup. This is such a such a scary green, but also very exciting for the viewers. Kristen has this for birdie three and she needs it at this point. She's two stroke behind Yenny. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> Lower left pocket and she cashes that. Fantastic. Beautiful pot. birdie. Amazing. <laughs> One shot game. And Lutke makes that. That was the layup ended up shorter than I thought it was. That was still a sizable pot yeah. and she nailed it. Oh. 
well done. Oh my, this is a fantastic battle going on with these ladies. And we are heading headed to the most difficult hole of the course. The beach hole. The round killer. Good last. Good last. 120 meters and you're gonna have to go over the OB with your drive. We've seen all kinds of events on this hole and there I mean if you have the power you can just lay down and go for the green but as many amateurs and FPO players don't really have the power to go over that OB all the way you're gonna have to be very careful with your shot that is very high and I think that's going OB left OB left yes yeah but she gets the distance, she gets to move up on the fairway by, by going OB left. The biggest problem is going OB right to, to that pond. That is flipping. Can it make it? No, it cannot. And that is basically the worst case scenario. She crossed early OB and she doesn't get to move up very far. So Kristen is OB and you are turning that one over <gasps> oh my and that is OB actually I changed my disc okay I, I took a more overstable than I planned but I missed it this is I don't even have the words that is a good pull but it's also turning a little bit come on let's go, get go, a skip go, go. skip in bounce no denied uh, All the ladies OB. But Kristen is OB in a, a very much better spot yeah. than the rest of you. And that makes all the difference on this hole. Oh, that yeah. is very, that is inbound, barely inbound. Yeah. Oh my god. This is such a scary hole. Now these ladies didn't get to move up. A lot, maybe by 20 meters up from the tee box for yeah. this shot. Yeah. So it's still a big shot to cross all that OB. Yep. That is still OB. Yeah. Just she does one meter uh, OB. She okay. doesn't get to move yep. up. She has see? to execute another from the same lie. Actually, she went a couple of meters. Okay. Further, okay. But well, still. <laughs> Take everything you can get. That is very high. That is very high and still OB. Yeah. The round killer strikes again. Okay, if you want, you can go a few feet, like meters further. That is that is that is terrible. I lack the words here. And there was a headwind, yeah. so it doesn't make any. Easier. So of course it's easier to for us to be commenting on this thing and say that you know it would have been a better alternative to throw let OB left. Now yeah. that is inbound. Yeah. Luckily, oh my goodness. So it's in in a situation like this, you definitely want to make sure that you end up on the left side, so you get to move up. And you're still going over all that OB here. Well done. In putting range. And now we get to see what Kristen does here. So you are you have a long putt for four? Yeah, like 14 meters. For, for bogey four. Bogey four, yes. And this is Kristen's third shot. Yes, exactly. Oh, it's behind that wall, but it is in putting range around circle's edge, I guess. Yeah, 13 meters. Maybe. Okay, okay. And I, I've i lost count of what score Luke is playing here, but it's going to be a big number. Yeah. But that was a good approach. She's close to the basket now. Yeah. Well done by Haiti. So this is your pot for bogey four and you're 
further out than Kristen and you have one shot advantage in total score. So you're playing for five now. So if Kristen nails this, you're tied. Yes, that's right. She's outside circle one, maybe 12 meters. And I was thinking, okay, we have sudden death. Hitting for sudden death playoff. Uh, seems like there was a bit of a distraction. Kristen resets, goes for the stepper. Oh! Wow. Right height, a little bit to the right. Huge battle. That is a double bogey five for Kristen, and this is your pot for double bogey five. That's right. So, Jenny is getting in for the win. And it is in. Oh my goodness. Fantastic final round, final battle. I la totally lack the words here. Your Tunis 2019 women's champion, Jenny Eskelinen. <laughs> Congratulations, Jenny Eskelinen. Eight year win, June 2019. How does it feel? It felt really, really good. I was so, 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 so happy. Thank you very much. <laughs> Amazing job. Well done. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. And now we get to hear a few words from you with. Terry Miller. I'm the Disc Golf Guy and this is my video blog. I'm now joined by our champion here at the Toonie, Yeni Eskalinen. Moi! Moi! <laughs> okay, that's all I know. How does it feel to be champion? Oh, this is big victory for me. So, oh, I'm shaking <laughs> still. <laughs> you were shaking on the final hole a little mm -hmm. bit. Very yeah. nervous. Yeah. On hole 16, I thought that Kristen was maybe going to tie you up because she put, was right there for a birdie yeah, yeah. and instead she went long and mm -hmm. she went out of bounds. Mm -hmm. w what was going through your head when that happened? Uh, I was, oh my god, and uh, <laughs> then I was thinking that I have two strokes lead, so I, I don't know, I was confused about that putt. <laughs> yeah, well on 17 she mm -hmm. made a great putt mm -hmm. and it was down just one stroke yeah. and then we went to 18 and she teed off first. Mm -hmm. We thought she was in bounds, right? Did you think she was in bounds on 18? No, I, I Oh, you I knew, knew she that, was out of bounds. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then you threw out of bounds as well. What What were you thinking about? Uh, I was thinking that uh, bar is enough for me, but then I threw also out of bounds. So I don't know. I was confused as well because uh, anything can happen. Yeah, very crazy hole on 18. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen. Um, any final thoughts, anything you'd like to say to everybody out there? Uh, oh my god, <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> You're happy? Anything you want, This is you said this is your first English to English interview, so yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Kitos, I think, right? Is that Kitos, right? Yeah, okay, thank yeah. you. Um, anything you want to say in Finnish to anyone? Or any other language? Um, kitos kaikille. <laughs> All right. Yanni Eskalinen, <laughs> our champion here at Tooney 2019. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, nice work. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect.